so I've been sitting here doing voice warm-ups for like the past, I don't know, 10-15 minutes and I have exhausted my voice, but that's fine. But, um, hello, uh, I figured that I would, um, so a while back I made a paw tutorial on my, my Instagram. And you know, I can't exactly post tutorials to YouTube without them looking maximum jank. Because, yeah, or at least pi uh, picture tutorials. So I figured that, why are you lagging? I figured that I would uh, make a tutorial, like a video, t video tutorial, to, uh, you know, kind of help the people on uh, YouTube and that who are struggling and um, question mark <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, and yeah and kind of like go further in depth of my process even though my process isn't that detailed because <laughs> I figured out like a whole different way of you know, like drawing paws to how I originally drew paws. Like, I don't even remember how I originally drew paws. I'm pretty sure I actually, like, used to actually do this. And it looked jank. But, um, well, that, that doesn't work. Uh, so, How I went about it in my tutorial on Instagram, I just kind of, um, I just kind of gave it labels. People liked to dispute my labels, but they were my labels, so, um, heck them, I guess, question mark? But basically, um, I called this a potato, even though it looks more like a, <laughs> a squatty carrot, or something, like a baby carrot, except fat. And, um, and then I said, um, <clears throat> I forgot what all I said, but basically, start out with a fat carrot, or a potato, or whatever you want to call it. I call it a potato. It's a potato to me. Some potatoes are shaped like this. Actually, it's shaped more like a yam, but that's a sweet potato, so it still counts. <laughs> uh, and then I just... So there's like this whole angle thing with paws. It's like it's kind of like when you're drawing a hand, except I'm sure that people do, who don't know how to draw uh, paws don't know how to draw hands. But like hands, I start out with like this trapezoid thing. Paws have the same trapezoid, sort of, in a way, in their own special way. And then of course you have the fingers. Uh, sand is broken. We're gonna pretend it's like on a on a surface or something. That's not usually how I draw hands, and it's pretty good. But I don't like it. But it's not important. And like so, the the toes of the paw are just basically fingers. You just add like four or five or however many toes that your cat has. I have a cat that has five toes, so on his front paws, Death Storm has five toes on his front paw, so I draw a middle toe, and then just do that because it's easier. I had a friend tell me that it, would ju it was just easier to like add two thumbs. Whoops. But I didn't find that easier, so I just added a whole other toe. <laughs> um, and then you just kind of add the add the leg. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And then there, there's the arm of the what's it? You don't have to add the toe over here. I don't, especially on paws that are like the outside is facing you. I don't add the toe thing, but 
you can. Um, and usually, well, nowadays, I usually line them kind of like. This is jank, but <laughs> maximum jank. But I just kind of do my own little thing with them. That looks janky and stupid, but it's fine. And I think one thing people liked, probably liked the most about my tutorial on Instagram was the open paw tutorial. I actually went over this in a stream once, uh, over how to um, draw an, an open paw. And uh, my friend, my friend, uh, freaking Silver was like, "Oh my God, thank you." So then later on, uh, I decided to incorporate that also into my ball tutorial on Instagram, just because, hey, people actually struggle with this. And um, one thing I noticed, like, I'm, I noticed this when I was looking at a, a picture of Maple Shade. Her paw was, like, open and, like, outspread and stuff like that. Like, her toes were spread like this, sort of. And then she had, like, whatever. That's not how I draw them. But that's, you, you get the gist. And I noticed that the toes resembled eggs so if you're needing to like draw an open paw just draw eggs draw egg draw another egg draw like four eggs or potatoes these can also be ta potatoes this is kind of looking a little weird it looks a little uh, weirder because it, it's been a while since I drew an open paw, but just add like knuckle and stuff like that. Um, uh, and then and then the do claw or whatever. I got the hiccups. Um. Uh, yeah, and then like of course would be out so you would just kind of draw the claws uh, make sure to put like kind of put emphasis on the fact that it's open by like well, I don't know just whatever this space is and whatever they call it space but then yeah um uh, Drawing open paws is actually like really fun for me and I don't really know why except for the fact that I figured it out. <laughs> it's like, oh I figured this out. This is fun to draw. Um But yeah, it, it's it's like the same basic principle as the other one. As the normal paw. You just kinda whoops. I think I meant to do that actually. It's like there's a trapezoid right here. See, drawing is all about shapes, okay? Like, there's a trapezoid, you have eggs, and triangles. Except they're not really triangles. But then you have just like this other triangle over here, and then a stick, basically. And when you think about it, it's a cylinder. But overall, it's just like. The basic shapes help a lot when drawing because if you figure out the basic shapes, you're able to like stylize it. Because like if you were to actually see an actual cat paw, it would look a lot different. I'm not trying to draw a realistic cat paw because who has time for that? But I think the pads are actually smaller than what people draw so it would actually more 
look maybe like this question mark except i'm stupid so yeah i was just, i'm not trying to draw a realistic cat ball but i am huh stupid anyway um and my heater just cut off and now I'm plunged into awkward silence but uh yeah, that's just kind of the basics of how I draw cat paws. It, it, it's kind of scattered. It's not... It doesn't really go into too much detail. But, I mean, that's how I do it. Most of the time, my thoughts are scattered anyway. So... Uh, So, yeah, in order to, like, actually, like, get, get a feel for drawing them, you would have to draw them yourself, and, uh, just practice them, study actual paws, and stuff like that. Uh, study other artists. I've gotten so many people that have messaged me thanking me for my tutorial and saying how much they inspired me. I mean, how much I inspired them. Uh, I think I meant <laughs> how much they were inspired by me. And like, it, it's pretty great. Uh, How helping people with it, how make how you ever had a dream when when you went <laughs> I'm so stupid anyway uh I don't know what I'm doing anyway I say anyway anyway a lot a lot a lot I'm okay. I've been talking for like 18 minutes, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't really have a method for like anything else other than cat paws because like I'm kind of bad at wolf paws. I think wolf paws definitely like are like, you know, whatever, uh, they're bigger. Or something. I don't know. Uh, they're. Well, I mean, they are bigger because duh, they're bigger than cats. But I think they have like something like. I don't know. They're just different. There's something different about them, especially since. I mean, I think they always have their claws out. Pretty sure. I don't think dogs have retractable claws. So, oh wait, they definitely don't. I saw my dog's nails the other day. <laughs> Poor thing. They're a little overgrown. But, um, and, uh, I've seen them with their pads drawn visible so I don't know if that helps Ugh. I woke up at 9 today and yesterday and it, it, it's bogus do I look like I want to wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning every morning when I don't have to take meds or anything until 12 Ugh. Uh, did y'all know I got my wisdom teeth taken out? Did I tell y'all that? Yeah, I told y'all that. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, did, did I even tell my followers on YouTube that I got my wisdom teeth taken out? But, um, 
I'm still on meds because, or, well, I got back on meds because I got a new infection. I got, I guess, abscess, I don't know. But, I had to take new med. I had to get stronger antibiotics, and then if this doesn't clear it up, then I'm gonna have to go back into the doctor, and I'm just like, boy. Which, I mean, apparently it's a common thing, so I'm not too worried about it, but it's still kind of whack. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't want this. Please take. Please take. Uh, away. Take it away. Uh. Um. Wait, actually, where's the play button? Okay. Uh. This can basically be added in into like any pose too. I went off on a tangent, but. <laughs> It can be used in any pose, any pose that you like. It wouldn't be a potato, it would be a croissant in some poses. <sighs> but, um, uh, I try, I, I think I've tried doing it from under. It works pretty good from there, which is kind of looks a little weird. Um, actually, this doesn't look too awful weird. Stop in the name of the law. Stop. Stop. Mm. Um. Well, frick. I guess it just broke itself. As e as much easier as it is to just tell you and show you directly, it's kind of hard for me to figure out my process of how I draw specifically. So... Uh, I've been racking my brains on how to explain drawing hair to people because people like I I made a tutorial on how to draw people and I was I was just like oh yes this is how to draw people yes uh, uh woo and <laughs> somebody was just like how do you draw hair and I'm like Oh no, I just deleted it later, I didn't want to delete. Anyway. Uh, how do you draw hair? And I'm like, how do I what? And then they're like, yeah, I don't I don't know how to clump it to where it looks natural. And I'm like, oh, you poor thing. So I've been just kind of, just kind of like laying around, just like, how do I explain that? How do I explain how to clump hair correctly? What? So, um, yeah. I, I figured I'd just make a bunch of uh, video tutorials, especially since, like, it's not that I don't know what to draw, it's just like what I draw now is just kind of more commissions. And when I do record anything that I draw, it's mostly on my iPad, and I go to record on my iPad, and my iPad is just like, guess what? I stopped recording in the middle. And I'm like, guess who's getting a cracked screen? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I don't have 300 more dollars. And I doubt that iPads are on sale anymore. Oops. But, um, uh, yeah, I hope I hope this helped, sort of, in some way. I hope that it gave you some sort of better uh, insight on how to draw cat feet and anything feet 
and they won't accept human feet, obviously, and any feet that don't look like cat feet, but I hope this helped and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!